And in politics, the presidential aspirant of the All Progressives Congress, APC Governor Yahya Bello, has picked up his expression of interest and nomination form to contest for the 2023 presidential election. Bello, who was the first to pay the 100 million naira required for the farms, was received by a mammoth crowd of party faithful and support groups from across the country who have been urging him to run for president. Speaking to journalists after obtaining the farms, Governor Bello said if given the opportunity to take over the affairs of the country after the tenure of President Muhammad Buhari, he will restore hope to the entire country and Africa at large. Today we have picked our intent and nomination form for the position of president or presidential flag bearer of our great party, the All Progressives Congress. And today I am happy, Nigerians are happy, and the party is happy for that. Right now, what we have ahead of us is a task of conversing Canvassing and uh, consulting all party faithfuls, leaders, stalwarts, delegates, members, and even all Nigerians from at home and across uh, and, uh, in diaspora to give us a support, to support us so that we become the flag bearer of this great party come 30th and 31st of May. 2023. Similarly, the Minister of State for Education, Emeka Wajuba, has also declared his interest to run for presidency in the 2023 general elections. Wajuba made a declaration in Abuja shortly after receiving the nomination and expression of interest forms of the All Progressives Congress, a coalition of youths under the country of the country under the aegis of Project Nigeria Group purchased the forms for the minister. While receiving the forms, Wajuba explained that his decision to run for the presidency was a recognition of President Muhammad Buhari's performance in the last seven years. I want to also thank Mr. President our president, President Mohammed Buhari, who in the course of the 20 years that I have been in his political household, has offered me the opportunity to learn and a platform to offer my little effort in service of our fatherland, Nigeria, in the nearly 200 universities across Nigeria. The federal government owns less than 50 of these universities. The state governments own nearly a 50 of them as well. Whereas private individuals and private organizations, faith-based organizations own another 100 plus. The only part where children are not in school at the moment are the ones that belong to the federal government. So there is no need for every other, any other university to be at home. The engagement with ASU has been a long-drawn one based on the 2009 agreement that was signed before we came into government. 